So these are the two that I usually use. So I switch between the two. The Zook is a little bit smaller. I usually like to take this when I'm doing just a couple of clients or if I have a bigger job like a wedding or something big event then I'll take this one. It's a lot bigger than the Zuka, but it's also in three sections so this section can come off and it'll make it a little bit shorter and a little bit smaller. It also comes in pretty handy if you don't have a table or you're limited on table space which I'll show you how it kind of sets up and you can get this on Amazon. I will have all the links in the description box below on the name of it. So yeah, these are the two that I kind of switch between. Right now I have almost everything in this one because this is the one that I used last. So I'm just going to try to show you everything that I have in here. But keep in mind that I do switch out a lot of things before each job. So a lot of things get switched out. But it opens like that. That's the top section and it comes out like this. It kind of almost looks like a cheap 80s little caboodle. Thing, but it actually holds a lot of makeup. So in this top section are concealers and color correctors. I've been really loving the Kevin Kwan concealers. They are amazing. I've been using them every single time. And I also like to use Anastasia concealers. And for like 15, 16 year olds, you know, teenagers that don't really need a lot of coverage, I like the Ultra HD from Makeup Forever just to kind of brighten up. And here is kind of like miscellaneous. It's like brows. Inglot gel liner is always in here and mascaras and brow setters. Those are always in here. I also have a brow palette that I use, which I'll show you later. And then in here, it kind of gets messy. Usually, I usually have a mirror. There's just eyelash curlers. And then makeup wipes. I use the Neutrogena ones. And then I have setting sprays. I really like the Morphe setting spray, but if they have oily skin, I really like the Cover FX Mattifying Setting Spray. That's a really good one. And then setting powder, of course. And then I also have I also have a bottle of water in here. This is just water. Gosh, it's pretty dirty. A bottle of water just in case I don't have anything to wet my beauty blender with. So two of my favorites are the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundations or the Smashbox Studio Skin. But I usually mix foundations and I have a foundation palette as well that I use which I'll show you when I get there. So I don't really use just one foundation. I kind of mix my own little cocktail. And I also like the Smashbox, what are these, shaping foundation sticks because they have the contour on the one side. I really like the contour side. And then lash glue, scissors, definitely need scissors. And I always usually switch these out just depending on what kind of job I'm going to do. But I do use the Sigma Corderosa a lot, blush a lot, because it goes really pretty on a lot of skin tones. And also the Benefit Hervana blush works really good on a lot of skin tones. So, and I also have a blush palette as well. Um, Highlighters are in here. The ones I mainly use are the Jouer highlighters and also the Artist Couture highlighters. Mac, I use this one a lot as well. And then the liquid highlighter. If I use a liquid highlighter, I'll use Marc, Marc Jacobs, which is really good. And this is where I keep my palettes. I almost always, again, I almost always switch these out depending on the job I'm going to do. And I think I always take the Tardis Pro palette. I really like that one. And I always take this palette, which is just made from a bunch of different, different ones. And I have this MAC palette, which is just like blushes and contours. And for brow powder, I always use a brow powder. Pro palette from Anastasia, which has pretty much all the colors in there that I need. And this is just this is just a small lip palette. It's mostly MAC lipsticks. It's really small. I need to get a new one. And this is one of the foundations that I use. And as you can see, it's pretty it's pretty beat. I need. I'm probably going to need another one of these soon. I do have another one. This is the the warm shade, it's what I use the most. I do have the cooler tones, but I don't use that one that often. And then I always have the Anastasia Contour Kit. I like having palettes like this. This one's from Benefit because it has different, a bunch of different blushes and stuff in it. I really like palettes like this that come with a bunch of different, all, a bunch of different ones in one. They're really handy. 
and this actually comes out as well and then you have that under there so this, this right here is probably my favorite part just because it has the different sections and it comes out like that's really easy what i have in here are basically setting powders i actually use the ben Nye banana powder and cameo powder a lot for oily skin i think the benefit professional agent zero shine is really good to have just some setting powders and then this is bronzers hula bronzer these are kind of like powder bronzers and cream bronzers i have the motives for these color perfecting quad i really like these two to contour or even highlight with and let me show you to contour or even highlight with the makeup forever pro bronze fusion bronzers i don't think i showed it to you in the first one but if I can get like travel size or smaller size, like travel size or sample size of products that I use, that I know I use and I like, I'll get them because I'll throw them in here just to make things a lot lighter. You can see I take a lot of stuff and it just makes it a lot light, lighter and easier for me. So I will try to get those when I see them. So um, I really love the Smashbox primers, the Smashbox primers and also the Makeup Forever ones. The Makeup Forever primers. These are some powders, foundation powders. I really, really like the Benefit Hello Flawless ones and also the Tarte, which you can see they're pretty used and abused. The name's not even on there anymore. What are these? Confidence Creamy Powder Foundation. And then also the LA Girl ones are really good too. So then this just comes up. And this pretty much basically is like my miscellaneous stuff, like my what I usually throw in there is my brush belt, which as you can see is pretty heavy. Usually in here is more blending brushes than anything. These are these are my most used like um, lip liners, lip liners, eyeliners, setting spray. This is brush cleaner, a brush cleaner wipe. This is my primer, eye primer. This is my lip conditioner that I use. Um, and then random, of course, like spoolies. And then for um lip products and a setter and just just and then of course hand sanitizer you cannot forget hand sanitizer and i always take this which still has stuff in it to kind of hold my brushes the clean brushes the dirty brushes it's also really good to have these they're the makeup correcting swab they're from salon perfect um also these shadow shields are pretty good to have and these are lip liners but i rarely rarely use them and this is just a mixing board Again, I rarely use it. I just use my hand. And then this bag in here is just all my kind of miscellaneous cleaning stuff like um, a water, the Japanese waterless brush cleaner. It's amazing. It, the stuff is amazing to spot clean between clients and then beauty blenders. And then this is also good too when you need to, let me open it. It's from thebrushtools.com. I get a lot of my stuff there. It's really, it's really good for Really good for makeup artists they have a lot of makeup artist stuff so it's basically a brush cleaner in there and it's like a little sponge little sponge so if you don't want to switch brushes and you need to clean off the color from your brush you could just swipe it on there and it takes the color off this is just a bunch of like glitter a bag with a bunch of just glitters and pigments and stuff like that and this is just a bag full of lipsticks and lip glosses Again, again, these get switched out regularly, so I'm not even going to bother going through there. Again, if you don't want it to be that high, you can. if you want it to be a little bit smaller, you can put this back in there. And then instead of adding that middle section to it, you can just add... You can just add this on top, and it's, and it's a little bit smaller. Even with that middle section off, it's still a little bit bigger than the Zuka. Or Zuka is pretty beat. I mean, it's been through a lot, but it is very sturdy. I love, love the Zuka, and I also really like this one. 